In this lecture, we will be talking about chromosomes. Basically, chromosomes uh, contain the DNA and how this uh, DNA is packaged into the chromosome that will be in the next lecture. So starting with the definition of chromosomes, chromosomes are defined either thread-like or rod-shaped structure. So they both are correct. So if you see over here, this structure over here, that is a thread-like structure, the way DNA is packaged. However, normally there are two rods of the chromosome. So the definition of chromosome, it can be any way. They are thread-like structure within the nucleus of living organism, and they are composed of deoxyribonucleic acid and protein, which is histone in nature. And a few additional things, like if the cell has a nucleus, then it's for sure that the DNA will be in the nucleus or the chromosomes will be in the nucleus. However, uh, there are certain cells where the nucleus is not present. So the cells which are having a nucleus, we call them as a eukaryotic cells, and those cells which do not have nucleus we call them prokaryotic cells. So where the DNA or the chromosomes are in the prokaryotic cells, basically they can be anywhere in the cell, like bacteria is a good example. So bacterial genome is within the bacterial cell because there is no nucleus over here. So further moving with the chromosome, Basically, chromosome components, there are two major components. DNA or the deoxyribonucleic acid, and the other one is a protein, histones, around which DNA is wrapped around. Uh, I mean, we can uh, just uh, discuss about the definition of uh, DNA, histones, and uh, I have added over here gene also, because genes are also a segment of DNA. So basically, DNA is the hereditary material comprised of four chemical bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thiamine. And remember, sugar and phosphate, they form nucleotide, and the DNA is a polymer of nucleotide. And a gene is a sequence of DNA that codes for a molecule having specific function. Insulin gene is a good example if this gene is defective, then the people suffer with diabetes. So histones, histones are the proteins in the chromosomes. They are highly alkaline, are basic in nature, and involved in tight packing of the DNA. And uh, sometimes it is said the shape of the chromosome is basically due to these histone proteins. So further moving with the chromosome, uh, each chromosome has a region which is known as centromere. It's exactly over here. It's a joining a one short arm and the long arm. And centromere is defined as a region on the chromosome joining two sister chromatids. In the next slides, we will be talking about what the chromatids are. Uh, however, uh, regarding the arms, the shorter arm is known as a P arm and the longer arm is known as a Q arm. Chromatid is one of the two identical strands of a chromosome. Uh, each chromosome has two identical strands exactly like over here and these strands they join at the centromere region. And why these strand, two strands? Basically, one of this strand, or uh, you can call it a rod, comes from the mother, and the other one comes from the daddy. So later on, once we talk more about genomics, we will be talking in detail about these ones. So now we have a slight idea what are gene and chromosome, or DNA and chromosome. So starting with gene, Gene are the physical and functional unit of hereditary. And these genes are DNA, where they are, they are in the chromosome. And chromosomes, we know about this one, 
here the chromosome is they have a two rods they have a this uh, centromere region over here and uh, how this is we talk about this one the histone protein so here are the histone proteins around which this dna is wrapped around and this structure basically is known as nucleosome that we will be talking in another lecture that talk about the packaging of dna and uh, further going into the dna this dna uh, it has uh, regions which are known as exons and introns exons are the region uh, which basically express proteins and introns are just the intervening sequences between two exons there are several terminologies or technical words relevant to gene chromosome and one of these word is allele so what is an allele allele is an alternative form of a gene on a chromosome sometimes it is a variation of the gene also so remember like a chromosome has two rods which are called as chromatid and one of this one is from mom side and the other one is from dad side and if you remember we talk about the insulin gene so mom will also be providing insulin gene and dad will also be providing insulin gene so each human being has two copies of the same gene and it is quite possible that they might differ a bit in their sequence so these two copies they are known as allele uh, they may be same in their dna sequence or may also differ at gene level so couple of more technical words about chromosome one is the locus and the other one is gene map so what is a locus and what is a gene map locus is a position of gene on the chromosome and loci is the plural of locus so all the genes are arranged on the chromosome so here is a chromosome 10 of human being so as usual this chromosome has a centromere it has this short arm which is a p arm it has a longer arm which is a q arm over here and on this both these arms genes are present in order form like one two three it's in a unique sequence and the order list of all gene of an organism on a chromosome is known as gene map this one is a bit complex slide talking about the locus and uh, locus is the position of a gene or dna on the chromosome and remember a chromosome has a central centromere region and a short p arm and longer q arm so how the position of a gene or dna is defined so you might see in several books or paper written like uh, a position of gene like 3p2 2.1 so what that say the first word that over here that talk this is the chromosome number so this is talking about chromosome 3 and the second word p mentioned that the position of this gene or locus is in the p arm which is over here then the next two mention it is in the region 2 which is over here of the chromosome then the next two mention because these regions have a banding pattern different genes different bands that can be defined by cytogenetic study so that talk about it's in the band 2 and these bands are further they have sub band and point 1 tell is the is talking about the sub band 1 
so this will be uh, like uh, read as 3p22.1 telling a locus or gene that is over here it is at chromosome 3 in the p arm in the second region in the second band and in the first sub band so after a complex slide a bit easier one uh, chromosome number the number of chromosome in organisms vary we human have 46 chromosomes 23 pairs uh, and now the question is which organism has the highest and which one has the lowest number of chromosome uh, if we talk about the animal then roundworm has just two chromosome and uh, crab has 254 chromosomes and if we talk about the plants algae has two chromosome and this fern uh, has 1260 chromosome so there is a word used karyotype to talk about the chromosome and what karyotype is basically it defines the size shape and number of chromosome in a body cell so for example if we talk about human karyotype so there are 23 pairs of chromosomes 22 are the autosomes and one is the sex chromosome so here is the normal karyotype of human being so moving with the karyotype uh, humans and animals have two types of chromosomes and looking into the human karyotype remember the previous slide humans have 22 pairs of autosomes or 44 autosomes we get one autosome from each parent and beside these 44 autosomes there are x and y a pair of chromosome these chromosomes are known as sex chromosome and define the sex so for example a female will be getting one x chromosome from the father and the other from the mother and a male if there is a one x chromosome and the other one is a y chromosome that will be a male so here are two important words diploid 2n or haploid with single n a diploid is a cell containing two copies of each chromosome almost every human cell that we call as autosome is diploid remember one copy we get from mommy and one from daddy in haploid is a cell containing a single copy of chromosome and the germ cells are the example like sperm cell or egg cell so now the question is is chromosome number sufficient to tell about a species uh, and the answer is chromosome number alone is not sufficient to define the species for example potato has 48 chromosome and chim also has 48 chromosomes i would like to thank you for listening to this lecture and request you to subscribe to our channel for upcoming video lectures your comments will be appreciated for further improvement of future lectures